How's everybody today? This is uh, Aubrey Parnell with Redneck Fishing. Uh, just wanted to do a little intro video. Not very good at this yet, but uh, wanted to try to cover the uh, late February through late April bass fishing on Lake Russell. Um, that time of the year, you know, the bass are trying to move up, trying to looking for places to bed, uh, especially the spots. Uh, Lake Russell is eat up with spots, and uh, I try to target the spots early on in the year. Um, what I like to do is a seasonal presentation. Here we have a shad spawn. Uh, the shad try to move up, you know, like on points, especially like red clay, red mud points with a little bit of gravelly soil on it mixed in. Uh, the shad will move up the spawn. And what I like to throw, and I'm not a professional by no means, I like to fill the freezer up. We like to eat them. So uh, we try to thin as many spots as we can, try to give the large mouth a little bit of a fighting chance, but it's a losing battle. But uh, what I like to throw this time of the year to mimic from the water, you know, mid to high 50s all the way up through, you know, 65 to 68 maybe. I like to throw a Zoom Super Fluke. I also like the cream uh, fluke style baits, but uh, that zoom bait, man, is hard to beat. I also like to throw a shallow running, shallow running, kind of a very, very short bill crankbait, red, crawdad red. Uh, that's a killer on Russell early, like I say, February through late April. Um, don't target a whole lot of bedded fish with these, you know, but what we're after is that shad spawn, imitating that shad coming to the bank and uh, catch tons of spots doing that. Tons, good spots. You'll catch a good large mouth every now and again, but uh, chatter baits and uh, top water baits, like big top water walking baits. And uh, chatter baits are one of my favorites, man. Chatter baits may be earlier, like start off throwing the flukes and the chatterbaits in uh, late February, especially on Russell. Uh, backs of pockets, points, uh, main lake points, you know, kind of chase them out, you know, late March, April, you know, kind of going out on main lake points. But get back into creeks early. It'll it'll shock you the volume of fish that'll be stacked up in the creeks um, on some of these points and some of these little uh, fingers in the backs of the points. But, uh, can't go wrong with the fluke. You know, if you're just trying to fill up the freezer and we'd like to take as many spots as we can to try to help the largemouth. But uh, hope y'all enjoy the videos and uh, go try to make some from time to time. I'm not gonna make a ton. I just, uh, I'm just a outdoorsman, avid outdoorsman. Love to get out there and get after it. Not a tournament fisherman. Like I say, we fill up the freezers. Uh, if it's in season, we'll chase it. Uh, y'all have a blessed day. about that boys yeah rough getting my brains beat out wind blowing oh there she is beautiful girl there go healthy whoo gonna let her go i don't want to stay out too long i don't want her to get all messed up looks like she is maybe spawned out I don't know. Good fish, though. Here we go. Get it, girl. Yeah. Nice little spot. 
ain't what we're looking for, though. We're looking for the honcho. old spots when they hit like that. to shake your head. Russell's got them boys. Prettiest spots in South Carolina. Beautiful, beautiful.
as a loop one. that buddy tank of a spot Lake Russell produces some of the prettiest spots I have ever seen in all my born days that is a beautiful beautiful fish two and a half maybe three beautiful them dinks today. Number two is a dink, but we're gonna make a play out of it. Think about that one, boys. Four, maybe. They're getting better. They're getting better. 